So next up, we're going to bring on uh, Rob, who is our manager, who has uh, been joining us remotely, uh, and he's been keeping an eye on all the questions you've been asking. So Nicholas has asked, can you tell us a few examples of numerical algorithms that are used in Mathematica that were developed according to or use Wolfram's search of the computational universe? Okay, so Stephen Wolfram wrote his new kind of science book, and a part of that, and part of the research for that, was sort of trying to search the computational universe for for various algorithms, and and I think that's affected Mathematica in in two ways. One is just doing that search and being able to work that search in Mathematica gave us a lot of experience with working with different kinds of algorithms, and so as a result, we've become very good at setting up things to select between different kinds of algorithms. Um, another type of thing are some algorithms that are actually directly used in Mathematica. And, and I think the best and probably the strongest example of that is a random number generator. So um, if I do seed random of, um, say, some number, oops, and I can't remember what the methods are, I, so I put a method as question. This is not... Um, that's okay. That's a bad syntax. Um, it should give me a list of which. Okay, so no, I have to give a specific method. Um, method goes to C A. Okay, here we go. So now I'm, <laughs> this is the one I had to put in a string. But this tells me what generators we actually have available. And you'll notice there are three that. Um, use particular cellular automata algorithms. Those are those are re result of Stevens. And actually our default our default random number generator is what we call the extended CA generator. So if you use if you use um, um, just the random number generator, say you know like random integer of one uh, tens to um, seven comma yeah, say something like that, that'll generate, you know, random integer of size 10 to the seventh. And the bits for that, that go into that random integer come from the, 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 the cellular automata generator. And now you can change methods, same or same twister, but the cellular automata generator has passed all the, all the sort of diehard tests. And as far as we know, it's a very good, it's a very good generator. So that's, that's an example of that. So that's all I have to say about that for now. All right, great. Well, thank you, Rob. We've got a couple other questions coming in for you. Um, another one is, uh, what methods are used by interpolating function? Okay, so there are a few questions I saw that came in on this. So we'll call it iPhone, say equals x. We'll just use my favorite. Um, Okay, so we'll set up a really, and I got uh, something, oh, I got an extra equal. Sorry, my typing is not great here. So this is an interpolating function, um, uh, and actually we want the first part of that. So if you look at the input form of this, okay, it's just some, you know, confusing gobbledygook of lots of numbers, but basically the, the the, what we do by default for this is it's it's the interpolating function is is based on typically polynomial interpolation, though not not necessarily exclusively so. Um, it's extensible that as we add new methods, we can add different methods of interpolating interpolating. But the default for for example in this example, what it uses it uses cubic Hermy interpolation. So what it does is at each step any solve takes. It solves the, it saves the value of the function and the value of its derivative, the inputs of the step, and it just uses cubic Hermy interpolation in between. Now you can add an option, okay, to this. If you add the interpolation order it goes to all, then the interpolation becomes method dependent. And what interpolation order all means is you're actually using what's called a dense or continuous output from the method. So for the default method, this actually is a, uh, it uses the Nyquist history array because the default method for simple ODs like this is a, is a multi-step method. Um, so it uses the Nyquist history array to sort of generate a, a Taylor series from the point. Now, if you use some other um, 
more complicated methods, we have sort of a, a general way of de generating dense output um, that ends up using Chebyshev interpolation, so it's quite stable. So there's a whole bunch of, of different algorithms. And say when there's you're doing a PDE, what it does is it does you know, multivariate interpolation. So it first interpolates in one direction and interpolates in another direction. And there's also a possibility of using an interpolating function on unstructured grids, in which case it uses it just uses it uses a linear interpolation on a triangulation. So so interpolating function is sort of a great innovation for any salt because it incorporates a whole lot of algorithms, but but basically you can just use it as a function and not have to worry about how it's interpolating. The only thing you need to ask yourself is how accurate do you need the interpolation? And if you need it to be as an accurate as the method, just use that interpolation order all and their interpolation is just as accurate as the method, both at the endpoints and in between steps. But it's a little more expensive to do that, so that's why it's not the default. Okay, that's all for that answer. Another question? Just one more for you, Rob. Um, we were being asked, uh, to what extent do these algorithms make use of multi-core hardware resources when they're available on the hardware, like CPU and GPU? Right, okay, so, so that's a good question. And, and the, the, the answer is, to, to some extent. Um, so, for example, if, if you do a, a PDE problem like, like the one Peritas showed, or you do a bigger one, there's going to be a lot of interlinear algebra. And the same is true for, say, find minimum, find root, and minimize. There's going to be a lot of linear algebra. Now, the linear algebra is all set up through a, through a linear algebra library, which is the Intel, Intel Math Kernel Library is what we use right now. And that automatically multi-threads linear algebra across across multiple cores. Um, now we also um, say if you so so that's what's definitely done automatically. We also have a parallel uh, toolkit that would allow you to say solve problems on you know on different different mathematicas. Now. Um, because the availability is not certain now, we don't do much more than that automatically. However, um, coming online in the future are going to be lots more ways to use GPUs or access GPUs when they're available, and so we're looking forward to being able to use, use some of those in a more automatic way. But in the meantime, we have a bunch of ways to use multi-threading um, in various ways. One, we have a, an OpenCL and a CUDA link um, packages that come with Mathematica, they're add-ons. So you can use those um, to, to, to actually use, to specify, so you have to do it yourself, but you could say, say, I want to do this, this part of the problem you know, with CUDA, and there's lots of functions you can just access directly from the link. Um, one of the issues with GPU computing, which is why we don't auto do it automatically now, is there's often a big transport cost between the, the GPU and the, the main memory. Um, and when you know that transport cost is not going to be too excessive compared to the computation, that's the time you want to use it. But it's hard to, it's often very hard to judge that automatically. And I think tools for doing that and figuring that out are, are coming online. Um, there's also, um, within our Mathematica compiler, you can compile functions to be, to be automatically, automatically multi-threaded. Um, and and if you use those compiled functions, then in some of these super functions, you'll sort of get the advantage of some of the multi-threading um, automatically there. So that's another way you can use you can use multi-threading, but it's not it's not done automatically. So so I think that's about all I can meaningfully say about that for right now.